Hey, good day. In this video, I will try to explain uh, the concept of why uh, nila recommend namin na i-format yung PS Vita uh, unit first before using our memory card. Okay? So, explain ko lang yung concept. Uh, first, si PS Vita na unit, uh, meron tayong tinatawag na user account. Okay? Uh, yung user account na yan ay nilalagin mismo sa PS Vita. So, kung, kung fresh ang PS Vita mo, bagong format, normally wala talaga account yan na nakalink or nakalagin. Pero, if you have been using it for some time and nag-connect ka online and nilagin ka na user account, or if hindi mo alam, no, more or less, probable na may nakalink. Okay? So, kaya namin gusto ipinaperformat muna bago gamitin ito. So, bakit? Uh, itong memory card na to actually, ito, walang nakalink na account dito. Okay? Kasi si memory card and the unit, they can both be linked to an account. Okay? So, kung itong uh, PS Vita na unit ay walang account na nakalink, and ginamit mo yung memory card na to in-insert mo, lalabas yung files, no problem. Hindi ka magkakaroon ng conflict. But, uh, if you link... If, na, if may nakalink dito and in-insert mo to ng memory card, in, may nakalink dito sa PS Vita na unit, na account, and in-insert mo to, automatic yan. Yung account na nandito, it will be linked on the memory card. Okay? Pero, lalabas pa rin yung games, dapat. But, if you format the unit after ikabit ito, okay? So, ito may account na, and then ito finormat mo. Yung, yung PS Vita unit mismo, mawawala yung account na nakalink or nakalagin. So, pag ginamit mo to, it will ask you, to log in that account. Kasi hindi niya, hindi kanya papayagang gamitin ito without that account na nakalog in. So, unless you know that account, you have to format this. So, kung alam mo yun, no problem, you can continue. But, if hindi mo siya alam, this will work like a normal PS Vita memory card without the files. Kasi you have to format it before using it again. Uh, yun, importante kaya talaga sinasabi namin, format the Vita first bago ikabit to. So, yun, it's either, uh, alam mo yung account dati na nakalog in, sign in mo yun so you can use this again. And then, kung hindi, uh, you have to get a memory card with files. So, you can proceed with the proper installation nung guide namin. Okay? So, yun ang concept ng PS Vita. There's no other way, there's no other tricks para maayos yun. Um, so, yun. So, ganun yung sistema niya. Alright? I hope na-explain ko siya maigi and uh, na-clarify natin for you. Okay?